Hey guys. So, today I decided to make a, a vlog in my car. Because why not? There we go. Great. So, um, yeah, I was watching, like, uh, that dude in blue on YouTube with the, uh, Smurf, uh, Mustang, and, um, I got, like, inspired, and I, I wanted to do, hold on, <laughs> this camera's bugging me. Alright, I wanted to do, with, like, something like that, because it's so freaking hot. Alright, anyways, so I got inspired, I thought that I should do something like that, because lately I have been, I have been, like, me, let me talk straight, okay. Lately, I have been, uh... Doing less and less things that I like, I like and stuff. Ugh, big story. Blah blah blah. There's a little ricer up the street. Oh, nice. Big old fart pipe on it. That sounds terrible. All right, so yeah, I got inspired to uh, make like my own vlog video things in my car because I need to be doing something with my life, kind of thing. And uh, I love cars, so why the heck not, right? I'm gonna go over a little bit about this car right now. So, um, I've had it for seven, almost eight months. Uh, it is a 78 Cutlass Wagon. Uh, yeah, it's a old Cutlass Wagon. But it has a Chevy 350 in it, which is actually pretty rare because I don't think, I think they made them in some El Caminos. They put the 350s in there, but I think for the most part they use 305s. Uh, so this is actually somewhat of a rare uh, option to have the 350 in there. So that's pretty sweet. Unfortunately though, it, the heads I think are bad, so it kind of like burns oil when you first start it up the first uh, time and stuff, so I don't know. But right now it is a uh, TH350, it's a 3-speed three, three automatic on the column. And uh, currently I am working on the uh, interior, it's gonna be a black interior with uh, probably orange accents and stuff. I'm gonna have like this orange carbon fiber looking stuff that'll replace all the wood grain and all that junk. So, uh, yeah, anyways, future plans with this car. Um, well, I don't know, we're gonna lower it. My dad and I are working on it. He has actually a similar wagon, it's a 79 though, but it's pretty much the same. <clears throat> Uh, we're gonna lower it, we're gonna put some really good suspension on it, I'm not sure exactly all the, the names of the suspension or whatever. But yeah, it's gonna handle pretty good. My dad's car, we're putting, because my dad is getting like full speed tech performance, uh, suspension on his car, so, uh, we're gonna put all the, the suspension that he, he has on his car right now, on my car, and, uh, we did autocross, we did an SC, SCCA event and uh, his car kept up with a C6 Corvette so what he has in it, it it makes it handle pretty good so anyways did I say I want to LS power it I want to put an LS3 in it and pro charge it but the pro charging is a lot of money anyways yeah I know the interior is like super ugly right now and uh, actually after having it for seven or eight months seven almost eight months I've kind of gotten used to it, but I know for most people it'll seem pretty ugly. So, yeah, so why don't we go drive it? And, uh, basically the only modification that I have done to the, uh, that could affect horsepower on, and the motor and stuff is I un unhooked the exhaust at the cat, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. It just sounds better. Let's go. And I'll talk on the way. So this is my first time doing this. I feel kind of weird because I've never been like in my car talking to a camera. But you know what? Whatever. So we're just going to go drive around the neighborhood. And uh, hopefully my camera doesn't go flying. I, just, I don't have it mounted on anything or anywhere. It's just kind of sitting on my dash. This is fun. I'm gonna go up this hill, we'll talk a little bit more. And I actually have no idea how much gas ha is in my car right now because my gas gauge is not working. But we filled it up when we went drag racing. And uh, this car ran a really slow, oh crap, there goes my camera. Ran a really slow 17.2. Uh, 
at like uh, 80 miles an hour, I think it was. So it's not the most powerful car in the world, but at least it's not yet. So, uh, what is this thing? That's new. Okay, I just adjusted the lighting a little bit. Hopefully it's better now. Let me... There we go. So, uh, yeah, I forget what I was talking about. It did 17.2 at 80 miles an hour, which is all right for a stock, completely stock, uh, station wagon, even if it is the 350, it doesn't have much power. I think it's rated at like, um, it's rated at like 180 horsepower, 230 pound feet of torque from the factory. So, eh, it's, it's torquey, but not too great of power. I'm hoping to put it up at like 500, close to 600 horsepower with an LS. That would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, yeah. There goes my camera. You know what? I gotta find a different place to put this thing because I don't want to keep doing this. Like, in front of me. That's good. That's fine. Okay, hopefully this works better because I don't want to keep doing that. Uh, okay, anyways. I'm going to flip around. Nobody lives at this house, so it's okay. Right now it's pretty much a boat to drive with the stock suspension. Ugh. That's another thing. My uh, steering, the belt gets, I'm not sure what exactly it does, but it does that noise and I don't think it. So, there's a Chevy Cruze. Just past me. Um, so yeah, I was thinking to start vlogging like once I, cause this will be my first year driving to school. And I was thinking to uh, like do some vlogs, do some updates on uh, when I get new parts and stuff for the car. And um, yeah, this is kind of different driving with a camera. I hope you can hear me on my loud car. But yeah, I'll get on it for you in a minute. I'm just, it's not really. kind of worried about this motor because uh, because it does smoke but it, um, I don't know it depends how fast I can save up for NLS and a T56 <clears throat> but yeah I don't know how long this motor is going to last it has barely 90,000 original miles on it which is a lot but it still runs pretty good for being that that, uh, that high of mileage. So anyways, any any A's? Yeah. Or I'll turn down here. See if I can get on that a little bit. But yeah, I'm hoping to have like 500 wheel horsepower. So at the wheels. Hopefully my camera doesn't go flying if I get on it. Okay, what was that noise? That wasn't good. Alright, and I'm in a neighborhood because there's nowhere around me that, uh, that, um, that's like private or anything, like a forest or whatever that that dude in blue has, so I'll just get on it here real quick. I mean, it's definitely not a high performance car right now, but it does okay, so I'm happy with it. 
So yeah, hopefully I get to drive it to school. There's another cop. Holy crap. Uh, this is weird. I feel really nervous driving with the camera like this. I don't know. Anyways. I hope there wasn't anybody back there when I got on it. But anyways. Whatever. Who cares? Uh... So yeah, you know, I love to do like car reviews and stuff, like that dude in blue, but uh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> I could review one of my friends Durango, he has a Dodge Durango, and it's the 5.9, so I don't know, I could do that if I wanted. doing cars and stuff I really enjoy or I used to enjoy uh, <clears throat> making films and stuff there goes my camera again doing films and stuff I used to make films with my friends all the time like action videos and uh, stuff like that and uh, I'd really like to get into that again so I hope I put that cinematic, or that somewhat, cin you know, whatever, cinematic, whatever you want to call it, video at the, uh, at the beginning of this video, and I'm, I mean, I'm trying to do like, you know, like, uh, David does with the cool looking, you know, videos and stuff, with all the cars, and that's what I was attempting to do. So, I don't know, I don't have any, like, sliders or anything, any, um, crap, dollies or whatever, but in that video, I was just on my longboard, and I was, like, just rolling past it with this camera. sliding all over the freaking place. Stay, camera. So yeah, this is just for fun, just for me. Um, that was a downshift. So, yeah, I'm doing this for fun to get out and to just, you know, do something that I really like doing. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, let me park behind the Nova, and, uh, yeah, actually, I'm going to pull up a little bit more. <laughs> parking brake on for safety was it really not in focus that whole time whatever I'm gonna upload it anyway so this is my first vlog and I'll uh, I'll keep everybody updated <clears throat> if I get any parts for the car or if I what I'm doing and stuff uh, so yeah this will be fun this is my first video on this channel and uh, yeah, so, yeah, also the only uh, modification so far that I have to the interior, I know I should just stop this video, but whatever, is this Grant steering wheel, which is cool, and also what's kind of rare about this car is that it has an in-dash tack, which is like my dad's doesn't and stuff, so yeah, there's no radio or anything, but that's okay, I'm going to get one for it, so... Yeah. So yeah, this was a, this was fun. Gosh, I can't talk now that I'm. I have to like have the pressure to talk to the camera. Anyways, this was fun. I'm gonna go edit this. You can see the headliner is piece of crap. I'm gonna go edit this video. Probably, hopefully, gonna try to upload it, and then I might make more. I don't know. So yeah, we'll see you later. <laughs>